Shalom, fellow Ambazonian. Good morning, my country people. Today, now Saturday, number 11 day for this month of March 2023. My name na Capo Daniel, your own countryman, Mr. No Kony, Ambazonian FBI. The man way it look out for una, it watch una back. Una welcome to another episode of our daily podcast, a program we will bring una the truth, we will bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help una for navigate this journey to our freedom, the independence of Ambazonia. My own country people them, today we will dig deep into La Republic du Cameroon organized senatorial election will be slated for take place for inside Ambazonia. This colonial election where the impose them for Ambazonia it need to take place now tomorrow for Sunday, number 12 day for this month for March. It come in less than two months where Paul Bia, the president of La Republic du Cameroon, the butcher of our people, dictator, it be announced them. There are no legal basis for the Republic of Cameroon for organized elections inside Ambazonia. Cameroon is a separate country that was due to unite with Ambazonia in 1960, a union that never took place. So Cameroon elections in Ambazonia are a violation of our territorial integrity and our sovereignty, and such elections are a state aggression, an act of recolonization after annexation of the former British Southern Cameroon, Ambazonia. All Ambazonian citizens who participate in these elections will be enabling La Republic du Cameroon to continue its colonization of Ambazonia, a crime against humanity. Recolonization, colonization is an act that has been described by the international community as a crime against humanity. My own country people them, for this kind of election, no be the one for one man, one vote. We all people them be participate for vote for the for this type of election when a senatorial election now only cancel of them that means say people them way la republic be appoint them since they not be that ever conduct any election for ambazonia like their mayor and their councillor that people the way they be vote for choose mayor unelected mayor them in this case for ambazonia now these people them go go vote for choose the senator them so when they expect say our civilian them they go go vote no not only cancel them and mail them for la republic du cameroon colonia cancel them for inside ambazonia go go vote for this election the cameroon government it don't be desperate for sure the war say it be in charge of ambazonia because every government it take the power now from the people them and this power they be given through election that means they call them say legitimization cameroon in no get no legitimacy again for govern ambazonia neither does it have a legitimacy to be in ambazonia because the Ambazonia people them for the past elections for five years have rejected Cameroon organized election and have not participated in any significant manner. As a matter of fact, there was no election in over 80% of our territory conducted to represent our people within Cameroon political system. Therefore, Cameroon have no legal basis, no legitimacy to govern or to be in Ambazonia. In addition to this, all the can candidates where they go participate for this election as senators them or senators wanna be for la republic for inside ambazonia all of them are not ambazonians who are resident in ambazonia over 95 of these individuals are ambazonians who have taken up permanent residency in douala and yaoundé and other parts of la republic to cameroon some of them are even living in the diaspora so not only is the election illegal the election candidate themselves do not have any grassroots in Ambazonia. These are self-exile people who only come to Ambazonia through armored car. Some are ferried in by Cameroon military helicopter to come and demonstrate their presence on such occasions where the Cameroon military have spare armored vehicles to bring them in, such as the colonial ban 11 February and 20 May. So let it be known to all of our people that these are elections for people who are not even living in Ambazonia is banned and no Ambazonia of good faith acting for the interests of our people will participate in this election. 
mindful of the fact that in 2018, Ambazonians from all villages and tribes match up to their traditional rulers and to the residents of their elected officials, even though for the most part those elections were designed by La Republic du Cameroon and told them that political participation in La Republic du Cameroon is forbidden and banned. We do not longer want any Ambazonian to represent us in La Republic du Cameroon because we are challenging Cameroon bases to be in Ambazonia. Our officials have never validated any union with La Republic du Cameroon in the Ambazonian Southern Cameroon Parliament. Neither did our officials who were elected sign any union treaty with La Republic du Cameroon. Therefore, it is a public interest and the public demand that no Ambazonian should participate in Cameroon political structure in the name of representing Ambazonia. Doing so, therefore, will mean going against the will of the people, violating their sovereignty and participate in a scam led by Cameroon Republic. As the old saying, they go for quarter, they say if bet the run land for fly without learning, then the hunters them need for heavy elbow for shoot without missing. In this case, since most of the candidates for these elections na foreigners them, where they then take double nationality, Ambazonian nationality, and the one for La Republic to Cameroon, and they need the first day for La for Eastern Ambazonia, we we'll call on our people them for continue for give intelligence for these people their movement once they notice they come for Eastern Ambazonia. Then be banned also for stay in their residence. If they any of these candidates they live in their residence those residents will be confiscated by Ambazonian forces on the ground. This is a recommendation I'm going to continue to push to all Ambazonian institutions, organizations, and forces on the ground to implement if truly we want independence. Independence must be zero tolerance to people who are facilitating the occupation of our land and maintaining the chains in the neck of Ambazonia. So as the hunters need for shoot, and learn for shoot without missing. Therefore, I am advising all Ambazonian forces, all Ambazonian organization, to make sure they go after all these so-called councillors and mayor that are of Ambazonian origin, and majority of them are living amongst us. They are living in our villages, they are living in our sub-areas, they are living in liberated areas, and for some reason, they have been given a blind eye. I'm calling on all Ambazonians to turn their focus and make sure that as these people who are standing as candidates, we cannot touch them, then these so-called councillors and mayors must pay the ultimate price. As of last night, according to the information that I'm receiving, all of the councillors and mayors and some traditional chiefs have already been displaced and are in the locations where this senatorial election of La Republic du Cameroon will take place. From Boyu, where I hail from, the people who are supposed to participate in this election are already in Com. They are in four locations in Com, all of them in the town and the district of Fundong, which is the capital district of the great state of Boyu. All of them are in Fundong in four locations. Some of them are lodged in the Divine Lodge Hotel, where councillors from Boom and the mayor, Meongwa Philip, and the fund of Boom is also lodged there. There are many funds of Boom, but this one is a black leg fund. And there are also some of them who are also lodged in this hotel who are coming from Belo and from Ginicom. All of their hotel bills are being paid by the colonial vampire regime of La Republic du Cameroon blood money that is sucking from our people who were slaughtered in Legnos. It is a shame that some of these people in Boom, especially Ngwa Philippe, who is a mayor, an elected mayor, are living on the blood of their people who were killed in Legnos. You also have some of these councillors who are lodged in the house of one Mr. Ncham Vincent, who lives near the Gendarmerie Company. You also have some of them who are living in the unelected mayor's Ndangdeni's house, which is below the Gendarmerie Brigade in Fundong. All of the Ambazonian forces, from the one from Bu, all the United Forces in Bayo, Belo, should make sure that they monitor all outlet and every single councillor that live from Fundong should face the gallow for this crime of treason 
and participating in an active crime against humanity, the recolonization of Ambazonia. In the great state of Bui, the colonial senatorial election is supposed to take place in Kumbu. According to our intelligence sources, the elections officials, some of them are there. It is not clear whether they are still there or they have been moved to upstation Bamenda or some of them were planning to carry out this election in La Republic du Cameroon West Province in Bafusam. In the great state of Menchum, we have already the councillors in all of Menchum have already gathered in Wum to carry such colonial elections. And we are calling on all Ambazonian forces who surround Wum to be on the lookout and make sure that the manhunt for these criminals begin as soon as they finish these elections on Monday, if it cannot be interrupted. In the great state of, Mem of uh, Mezam, the councillors are already gathered in Ayaba Hotel, eating and leaving fat on the blood of their people while they wait for the election to be conducted. We have councillors from Bali have already moved in into Ayaba Hotel, the ones from Bafut, the one from Bamenda 1, Bamenda 2, Bamenda 3, and from Santa and Tuba, they are all in uh, the Ayaba Hotel. There have also been spotted people from the great state of Momo as well. Some of them are coming there. They were supposed to carry the senatorial election in Bengui. But because the ADF has, has come into Bengui, the, the councillors from Batibo, from um, Bengui, Ngi, Njikwa, Widikum are all unaccounted for. So we don't know. We are asking for, for I'm asking for intelligence from our population so that I can pass this information to our people. From the great state of Ndonga Mantung, the election is taking place in Dop, where they have already sneaked in councillors from Babisi, from Balikumbat, and from Dop have already gathered there with the colonial, some of them are living in the colonial SDU's house, Mr. Munventu Bati Benoit Williams, a La Republic du Cameroon citizens. We ask on all forces to be on the lookout and to carry out searches for vehicles to make sure that they can spot all these criminals and take them into the bush to the land of no return. In the Atlantic state, it is the same. In the great state of Fako, in our capital in Boya, colonial unelected mayors and councillors have already gathered to share their spoil and are living fat on the blood of our children who have been slaughtered in the great land of Fako. In the great state of Lebialem, it is the same where they have called them to gather in Menji under protection of La Republic du Cameroon. In the great state of Kupe Maninguba, the Mbengam Bangem people have also allowed their colonial elected, unelected and appointed mayors and councillors to gather for the same. In the great state of Manu, in the district and the capital of Manfe, the colonial unelected mayors have also gathered to do the same to celebrate the killing and burning down of Manfe, of Manu, and the thousands of our people that the occupation forces have slaughtered in the great state of Manu. Why in the great state of Meme, in the district of Kumba, the capital of resistance, the colonial unelected mayors and councillors have also gathered and are shelling the spoils of the blood of our children in Kumba to carry such election. And the great state of Ndian, is not left out where the vampires and vikings have all gathered in mundemba to celebrate the blood sucking of our people over 30,000 ambazonians have been slaughtered by la republic du cameroon and over 500 villages have been burned the cameroon government have acknowledged that they are an occupying forces in their so-called grand national dialogue and our people are fighting for justice those who think that their private individuals, their stomachs and their villages and their own personal benefits are ways that of the 8 million Amazonians, they are yet to see the consequences. And these consequences must come if we indeed are fighting for independence. As they say, 99 days for the thief, our people, their own 99 days or the councillors and mayor have arrived. The Amazonian forces must deliver. And all Ambazonian organizations should not shy and put their head under the sun while the table is being pulled under the legs of our people. We must defend the collective interest. We must defend the territorial integrity if independence indeed means independence. Once again, 
fellow Ambazonians, I call on all fighters to mount roadblocks from the coming country Sunday on the 13th to monitor all vehicles and identify all these criminals who are calling themselves mayors and councillors, who are the slave dealers who have sold our people's blood to La Republic to Cameroon and make sure none of them escape our nets. Capo Daniel, looking out for you, signing off.